Hey, what's up, people? Um, I'm making a video on a quick or early edition of the uh, Houston Texans 2013 mock draft. Um, I think our, our biggest needs is receiver, defensive tackle, middle linebacker, and safety. So uh, let's get started. Um, the first pick, I have the Texans taking Xavier Rhodes, cornerback, out of Florida State. He's a big corner. He's 6'1", 215, or he's 6'1", 6'2". He's aggressive, athletic, and him and JJ will make a perfect fit. Um, I do have all alternate picks, so I'm also going to go, go through those. Um, I also have the Texans taking either Rhodes or TJ McDonald. He's 6'2, 205. He's tough, he's hard hitting, and he will com he will compliment Logan Quinn. My third one is Robert Woods. 6'1, 184. He was a top he was a top ten pick before this year. So imagine putting him with Andre Johnson. I mean he's that quick he runs, he has good hands, crisp routes, D speed, and can re return kicks. So that's a that's a win win right there. I mean, to me, that's a win win. Because if, if we can get a kick returner and a, and a receiver, that works out perfectly. Alright, so in the second round, I have the Texans taking. Oh, cool. Hold on. I have the Texans taking William Golston. He's 6'6", 278, defensive end out of Michigan State. He can play 3-4. We can get... He, he can provide depth. He can provide depth for us, and that will work out perfectly. Also, uh, or Cordell Patterson, receiver out of Tennessee. He's a explosive threat. He put up 1,858 off-purpose yards in the SEC. He also had eight catches of 25 plus yards and four rushes of 20 plus yards. So that looks out good. Um, or Kawan Short, defensive tackle out of Purdue. He is a big defensive tackle, 6'3", 310. I know Wade Phillips did not really go for that type of player, but he is athletic. Powerful, disruptive. He's a four-year starter at Purdue, and this year alone, he pr he put up 43 tackles, 15 and a half for loss, seven sacks, four pass breakups, and four block kicks. So I've been taking Cordell Patterson, Kawan Short, or or William Ghoston. All right. Now for the third round. I have the Texans taking uh, Monty Ball because I fell in love with Monty Ball at Wisconsin. I don't know about y'all, but they run that power of the run game that, that we run, and that will fit perfectly in, in our system. If Because we might be trading Ben Tate, so he, he could take Ben Tate's spot. He's 5'11, 218. Man. You want to talk about a, a badass running back? That's it. Also, Jonathan Bostic out of Florida. He's a strong inside linebacker. Can play in that middle linebacker. He's 6'1", 243. And he, he can uh, he, he can start for us. Also, uh, have us taking... Um, Chase Thomas, uh, middle linebacker out of Stanford, can also be that middle linebacker that can replace uh, Brady James, and um, not replace him, but in, in the near future, can can start with Ryan Cushing. Now for the fourth round, have us taken John Boyette, safety out, out of Oregon. He's a ball hawk. He can light people up. He's 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 a great player. 
Logan Thomas, quarterback at Virginia Tech, 6'5", 254. He's athletic. He can throw the deep ball. And they ran a pro-style offense at Virginia Tech, so that gave him kind of a jump on, on some people. Or have them taken Christian Michael, Texas A&M running back. If, if, now, these picks, I'm saying, like, if we don't pick the other four. I'm not taking two running backs. I'm not taking two, two receivers. Not, you know, but if we don't pick them. Christian Michael, he is injury prone, so that's why he dropped this far. But his talent level is sky high. He won't be asked to play much. He'll be asked to fill in when uh, Foster and Forsett are not playing. He can do special teams. So he'll, he'll be a great addition to the, to the Texans. Now for the fifth round, I have the Texans taking. Uh, hold on, I keep, I keep getting text messages. Um, oh, was that? Yeah, I have the Texans taking Deion Sims, tight end from Michigan State, six five two forty eight. That dude's a monster. I don't know if y'all seen him play, but that dude's a freaking nature. So, and we all know how Kubiak loves those tight ends. Or Carrington Bigham, cornerback from Texas. I don't know if he says he's coming out yet. But if he does, man, put him in that nickel corner or that dime corner, that would be something else. Or Marcus Rattamore. Because I know he's been injured. But his talent level, just, just just like with Christian Michael, it's the talent level there. He won't be asked to do much. He'll be asked to fill in when Foster and Forsett are not playing, and that works out perfectly. So now going to the sixth round. Have the Texans taking AJ Klein, once again another inside linebacker, playing for Iowa State. He led them in tackles. He was a great player, and he's a under the, the radar top type of player. Jordan Kovacs, strong safety from Michigan, four-year starter, All-American. Can't really ask much. I mean, he he did what was asked of, of him to, to do. Or or take um, Marcus Davis, receiver at Virginia Tech, 6'4", 228, that big tall receiver, he can block, and we all know how Quebec does like that. And in the seventh round, I have him taking Quentin Sharp, kicker out, out, out of Oklahoma State. He can boot kick off, so he has a big leg, and he can challenge Shane Graham for that spot. So, uh, that's my predictions. Um, I'll make more videos later on, and if y'all want me to do like a specific team like Patriots, Browns, Bengals, etc., let me know, and I'll do it. But uh, until then, talk to y'all next time.